welcome to History in a Hurry. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most important women with regards to conservation in American history, and that is Lucy Peabody. Now it's also going to talk a little bit about a place I haven't been to yet, but on my list, and that is Mesa Verde National Park. Now Mesa Verde uh, is home to the uh, remains of the ancestral cliff dwellings of people who were ancestors of the modern-day Pueblo uh, tribes of Native Americans. And in southwestern Colorado, these cliff dwellings have been preserved. One of the first people to uncover them was a group of brothers, and one of them was Richard Wetherill. And they spent a lot of time kind of going through it. They started off as kind of just pot hunters, hoping to make some money out of it. Uh, and then they did a little bit of work kind of preserving it with the help of a Swedish uh, historian and ethnologist named Gustav Nordenskjold. Uh, unfortunately, he was trying to smuggle it out of the United States, or not really smuggle, but trying to uh, bring it back to Sweden, where he could put it on display, sell it to a museum, make a little money out of it. He was actually stopped uh, at the train station uh, and arrested, prevented from doing so, but eventually they uh, determined that he, there was no standing to prevent him from doing it because it wasn't preserved or protected, and so he was able to do that. But the Weatherill brothers spent a lot of time exploring some of these cliff-dwelling ruins throughout the southwestern United States. But our real focus today is not on Richard, Richard Weatherill, uh, or necessarily even on Mesa Verde itself, but it's on this woman, and that is Lucy Peabody. Now, Lucy Peabody uh, worked in the Bureau of Ethnology, which set apart set upon itself the task of preserving the records of Native American tribes uh, in the United States uh, as their numbers were diminished and reservation system went into effect. Uh, there was concern that their, that culture might be lost, and so their, that was their part of their goal. Uh, after she got married and her husband retired, they moved out to Denver, Colorado, and she became involved with uh, the Colorado Cliff Dwellings Association, led by Virginia McClurg. And they were trying to push for Mesa Verde to be preserved as a national park. When that failed, uh, the next shift from v Virginia McClurg was to make it a state park and have it be administered by the Colorado Cliff Dwellings Association, which kind of gave her a little bit more oversight of it uh, than uh, just the nation. But Lucy Peabody really didn't like this idea. She still pushed for it to be preserved as a national park. She spent nine years working with this organization, trying to get it preserved as a national park. This organization uh, traveled all throughout uh, the region, uh, seeking support of not only Native American tribes, but other archaeologists to preserve and protect these ruins. Um, she even published a report in 1900 on the preservation and restoration of Native American ruins. Uh, it was fairly impressive uh, for a woman of her time. And she lobbied Congress, um, presented reports, was helped out um, by Edgar Hewitt of the Archaeological Institute of America in preserving this effort. And in 1906, Mesa Verde was made a national park, uh, preserving all ruins within five miles of the original site uh, of discovery. And in 1907, she was recognized uh, for her efforts. Today, we refer to it as Spruce Tree House as one of the uh, houses within Mesa Verde, but it originally was designated as the Lucy Peabody House uh, in her honor. But it shows the amazing impact of women in preserving our history, uh, not only of uh, the overall history of the United States, but also unique and important historic sites. This has been History in a Hurry.